welcome to our annual celebration of Student Achievement Awards. This is a celebration that I look forward to each and every year. We are pleased that you could be here to experience our students' scholarly and creative accomplishments. Together, we support our students and share in their celebration and honor. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for our national anthem. Thank you to our duet of Jenna Orlando and Jessica Griffith for the beautiful rendition of our national anthem. I want to recognize and thank our district supporters for our awards. Dr. Donna Desiato, Superintendent of Schools. Dr. Thomas Neveldeen, Deputy Superintendent of Schools. Mr. Douglas Mohorder, Executive Director of Employee Engagement and Accountability. Mr. Shane Hacker, Executive Director of Curriculum, Learning, and Assessment. Kate Skane, Executive Director of School Business Administration. Mr. Kieran O'Connor, Executive Director of Planning, Development, and Technology. We also thank our Board of Education for their support. Mrs. Debbie Collett, President. Mr. Paul Waltz, Vice President. Board members, Mrs. Lori Aird, Mr. John Albanese, Mrs. Susan Kane, Mrs. Tracy Callahan, Mrs. Leah Cushing, Mrs. Kay Gallery, and Mrs. D. Seaman. My administrative leadership team, Associate Principal, Mrs. Naomi Trevison, Assistant Principals, Mrs. Crystal Ward and Ms. Vendetti, Mr. Adam Shatroff, Coordinator of the Early College High School, and Mrs. Randy Ludwig, Coordinator for College and Career Readiness, and all of our teachers and counselors. Knowledge is power. Tonight, we celebrate academic excellence. On behalf of all staff, we congratulate our students and families. Students, be sure to thank your parents and extended family who support Aaron and also encourage you to succeed. Some say success is defined by the distance between one internet and the school, or between one person and the teacher in person. But, they really, but what they really say is success is defined between one year and the next. While that may be true to a certain extent, I believe success is measured by the persistence and hard work necessary. All of our students have been learning in different ways and different models. When one strives to achieve, regardless of the model, their learning can be both easy and challenging. Every day, learn something new and take on a new challenge. Every year in high school, an opportunity presents new challenges for our students. And tonight, we celebrate the achievement 
of all of our students. Students, plan for success and continue to challenge yourself, seeking the next opportunity. As you continue your educational journey, always remember to work hard, play hard, and find the balance necessary. This year you have risen to the occasion, and I cannot wait for all, us, all of us to be back here in this building together in September 2021. Congratulations to all students, staff, and parents who have achieved tonight's recognition. Please welcome Ms. Jordan Campo, who I am very thankful for, for all of her preparation and hard work to begin the awards presentation as our Mistress of Ceremony. Thank you, Mr. Avalina. Hello and welcome to this year's Virtual Undergraduate Awards Night. We appreciate you taking the time to watch this video and celebrate the students who are recognized for academic achievement awards selected by faculty members from each department. A program with a full list of awards and their recipients will be included in the award packets of the students recognized today. As a school, we value the quality of all our academic subjects as well as the exceptional work our students produce each year. We will be giving out awards in each subject area to students who are dedicated, always go beyond normal requirements, and set high expectations for themselves. They are creative, have an excellent work ethic, and come up with innovative approaches to solve difficult problems. These students also contribute to a positive classroom atmosphere through their intellectual curiosity and team approach to learning. Without the dedication of these students, especially in this challenging year of virtual and hybrid learning, our classrooms could not have had the same level of experiential learning that is currently happening. Our faculty is proud to present these awards. Our first category is art. Mr. Bakta presents his award for art and culture, art everywhere to Kaylee Clark. And his award for drawing and painting goes to Elizabeth Phillips. Mr. Chatterton presents his award for art and culture, art everywhere to Sophia Ferns and his award for Studio Media Arts Digital Photography to Michaela Ranger. Mr. Sincata presents his award for Advanced Art 1 to Samantha Weigel, and his award for Advanced Art 2 goes to Corey Lesko. Ms. Pillwa is presenting her award for Advanced Studio and Clay 1 to Avery Durantini, and her award for Studio and Clay 1 to Akwat Kwani. Ms. Pillwa's Studio and Clay 2 award goes to Nadia Benhassan. Mrs. Russo presents her award for Studio in Clay 1 to Miriam Mercuse, and her award for Studio in Clay 2 goes to Nada Hassan. <laughs> Our next category is Business. Mr. Anzalone is presenting his award for Sport and Entertainment Management 2 to Aiden Betts. Mrs. Baker presents her award for Career and Financial Management to Elena Vespi, Principles of Marketing to Michael O'Brien, and her Web Design Award goes to Joshua Spilka. Mrs. Corbett presents her award for business communications to Jack Tumulty. Her award for IT Essentials Cisco Academy to Ronan Gerber, and her award for SUNY OCC Routing and Switching Essentials also to Ronan Gerber. Mrs. Mock presents her award for banking and finance to Tylen Mulcahy. Her award for career and financial management to Tong Mong. And the award for principles of accounting one goes to Peyton Hausler. Mr. Mussolino presents his award for Business and Criminal Law to Natalie Quantz. Our next awards are for English. Mr. Brandon presents his award for English 9 to Abigail Kane. His English 9 Honors Award goes to Leslie Yakubu, and the award for Introduction to Theater goes to Sophie Axe. Mr. Defino presents his award for English 9 to Emily Campitello. Mrs. Fulner is presenting her AP English Language and Composition Award to Emily Ferns, and her English 9 award goes to Olivia Legro. Mrs. Freeman presents her award for English 10 to Abigail Shambaugh, and her award for English 11 to Shania Williams. Continuing with English, Mrs. Kirchhoff is presenting her award for English 10 to Adriana Bird. Mrs. McDougall presents her English 11 award to Michelle Bednarski. Mr. McSweeney presents his award for English 9 to Isla Ramick. And Mrs. Reyna is presenting her award for English 10 to Zoe Nixon. Ms. Ritter presents her award for ENL ELA to Anjana Karka. 
Mr. Russo is presenting his award for English 10 to Warren Payne. Mr. Ward presents his award for English 10 honors to Evelyn Gaskins. And Ms. Welch presents her award for English 9 to Sophie Axe. Our next category is Family and Consumer Science. Mrs. Karochi presents her awards for Child Development and Psychology to Ava D'Agostino. The award for School Age Psychology goes to Alina Chimura. The SUNY OCC Child Growth and Development Award goes to Sarah Stadelman. And the award for SUNY OCC GETP goes to Victoria Spiewak. In the area of math, Ms. Butenko's award for AP Computer Science A goes to Jonathan Eschbacher. She presents her award for Computer Programming 2 to Zachary Gagne. Her Math 11R Algebra 2 award goes to Olivia Goff. And her award for SUNY OCC Pre-Calculus with Trigonometry Honors to Alex Post. Ms. Sirio presents her award for Algebra 2 to Periandro Delgado Munoz. And her award for Math 9 Algebra to Nevaeh Foster. Ms. Cretelli is presenting her award for Math 10R Geometry to Brendan Hurlihy. Mr. Gray presents his award for Geometry to Aurea Leslie and his award for Math 9R Algebra to Farudin Muick. Ms. Henrich presents her award for Math 9R Algebra to Shane Douglas. Ms. Hinman presents her award for Math 9R Algebra to Frank Jace. Ms. Hinman and Mrs. Fingar present their award for Math 9R Algebra to Emily Campitello. Ms. Hinman and Mrs. Lorenzo present their award for Math 9R Algebra to Okwak Kwani. Mrs. Lorenzo presents her award for Algebra 1R to Zoe Nixon. Mrs. Pelkey is presenting her awards for Math 9R Algebra to Abigail Kane and Math 11 Honors Algebra 2 to Evan DeBurgess. Mr. Porter presents his award for Foundations of Algebra to Romir Richmond, and Mrs. Shug is presenting her award for Geometry to Kaylee Clark. Mrs. Shatra is presenting her award for Math 11R Algebra 2 to Katherine Cox, and Mrs. Simons is presenting her Math 10 Honors Geometry Award to Reed Scolaro, and her award for Math 10R Geometry to Emma Dunney. In the area of music, Mr. Ackenauer presents his award for wind ensemble to Ronan Gerber. Mrs. DuBurgis presents her award for mixed choir to Hyacinth Lobatos. And Mr. Flock presents his award for concert band to Ainsley McKenna and his award for concert band combo to Leslie Yakubu. In the areas of health and physical education, Mrs. Harris presents her physical education nine award to Abigail Kane. Her Physical Education 10 award goes to Kaylee Maloof, and her Physical Education 11 award goes to Wara Sitnik. Mr. Kilpatrick presents his Physical Education 10 award to Anel Soljic. Mrs. Neuhaus presents her Adaptive Physical Education award to Nathaniel Yakubu. Her Physical Education 9 award goes to Julia Brown. Physical Education 10 goes to Olivia Goff and her Physical Education 11 awards go to Ronan Gerber, as well as Morgan Ransom. Mr. Smith presents his Physical Education 9 awards to James Mailbone and Aiden Thompson. Mr. Tribal Peace presents his Physical Education 10 award to Carter Stewart. Mrs. Vollmer's Physical Education 9 award goes to Shayla Sanson. Her Physical Education 10 award goes to Isabel Shavusti, and her Physical Education 11 award goes to Gordon Gallery. And Mrs. Disbro's Health Award goes to Hannah Nish. In the area of science, Mr. Andrews presents his Forensic Science Award to Samantha Russell Jeffers, and his Supa Physics Award goes to Jack Tumulty. Mr. Causer and Mr. Ribzak present their award for Earth Science to Braden Smith. Mrs. Davis presents her award for college prep chemistry to Jaden Ellis, and Mr. Fulner presents his award for earth science to Emily Campitello. Mr. Koleski is presenting his award for earth science to Madeline Dizek. Mr. Harrington's award for living environment goes to Emma Donnie. 
Mr. Keogh's award for Earth Science Honors goes to Alexis Rhodes. Mrs. Main is presenting her award for chemistry to Ethan Beckman. And her award for college prep chemistry goes to Dhruvi Patel. Continuing with science, Mrs. Mitiga presents her award for college prep chemistry to Faiza Badani. And her award for college prep chemistry honors goes to Alex Cavanaugh. Mrs. Chulinski's award for living environment goes to Mia Jones. Mrs. Reed's award for living environment goes to Mackenzie Praxel. And her SUPA biology award goes to Gordon Gallery. Mr. Reyna's award for living environment goes to Alessandra Fernandez. Mr. Ribzak's award for earth science goes to Madison Hill. Mr. Stalg's award for anatomy and physiology goes to Faiza Badani. And his SUPA forensic science award goes to Natalie Quantz. For outstanding achievement in social studies, Mr. Carr's award for US history and government goes to Faiza Badani. Mr. Eschbacher is presenting his award for AP US History to Alex Post and his award for Global History and Geography One to Abigail Kane. Mrs. Gaeta presents her award for Global History and Geography Two to Nicholas Pudney. Mr. Hart is presenting his award for Global History and Geography One to Tyler Mills. Mr. Hawthorne is presenting his award for Global History and Geography One to Michael Oeda his award for Global History and Geography won honors to Leslie Yakubu, and his sociology award goes to Amina Hurtick. Continuing with social studies, Mr. Kissling is presenting his award for Global History and Geography II to Emma Donny. Mrs. Kawanis presents her award for AP World History to Margaret Mading. Her Global History and Geography II award goes to Brendan Herlihy and Mrs. Kiwanis' Global History and Geography II Honors Award goes to Lauren Payne. Mrs. McPeak's U.S. History and Government Award goes to Connor Strong. Mrs. Rem and Mr. Hart present their award for Global History and Geography I to Sun Tin Yang. Mrs. Rem presents her award for Global History and Geography II to Isak Delgado Munoz. Mr. Richmond and Ms. Williams present their award for Global History and Geography I to Romir Richmond, and Ms. Sherwood's award for U.S. History and Government goes to Bryce Rowe. In the area of technology, Mr. Davis presents his award for Aviation and Aerospace II to Nicholas Batone, and his award for Introduction to CAD Computer-Aided Drafting to Caleb Pfeffer. Mr. Edmonds is presenting his SUNY OCC Automotive Fundamentals Award to Austin Relier. Mr. Ferris presents his Film History Award to Anastasia Costco. Mr. Ferris's Movie Production and New Media Award goes to Nalene LaMarche. The Multi-Camera Studio Productions Award goes to Joseph Butler. And the Television History Award goes to Nicole Kugler. Mr. Ferris and Mr. McSweeney present their awards for TV News 1 to Elena Vespi, TV News 2 to Emily Andrews, and the TV News 3 award goes to Nicolino Piduano. Mr. Heward's award for design and drawing for production goes to Hashim Abdi. His award for design and drawing for production introduction to engineering goes to Morgan Ransom. And Mr. Heward's award for electricity and electronics goes to Donald Hamilton Jr. Mrs. Kyber presents her award for culinary arts one to Alexander Drawers. Ms. Schwendi presents her awards for production systems to Davis Nielsen and for residential systems to Zachary Harmon. In the area of world language, Mrs. Brooks presents her award for Spanish two to Ava D'Agostino. Dr. Buchek presents his award for Latin I to Juan Maldonado. His Latin II award goes to Jordan Coolbeth. The Latin III award goes to Parker Farrow. And the SUNY Latin IV award goes to Gordon Gallery. Ms. Glavin's Spanish II award goes to Araya Leslie. And her SUNY Spanish IV award goes to Jack Satterley. Mrs. Perla is presenting her award for Italian III to John Anthony Napierkowski. Her award for SUNY Italian Four goes to Amina Hurtick, and her Spanish Two award goes to Kaylee Hill. 
Mrs. Rivers is presenting her award for Spanish one to Kriti Batare and her award for Spanish three to Riley Murphy. Ms. Will Gus's French two award goes to Leslie Yakubu and her French three award goes to Julian Randall. Thank you for watching this year's undergraduate awards night video. Congratulations to all of the students who are recognized tonight. 204 awards were given this evening. I'd like to thank Ms. Campo and the entire faculty for whom I so appreciate all that they do. Thank you to all who have joined us remotely in this great celebration. We thank our awards committee members, Mrs. Lamphere, Ms. Campo, Mrs. Ludwig, Mrs. Scarletta, and Mrs. Strode, and as well as to our photographer and our video recorder, Mr. Michael Ferris. Congratulations to all of you, and we thank you for your support. Have a great evening.